Alright guys, sorry but the uh, 4K limitations mean I'm going to make a 10 minute video. Look at this thing go. There was probably 10 seconds, 20 seconds in between. Stopping and swapping. We are at 24.4 outside still. 90 degrees when we're starting to roll. 93. Um, I am about 30 metres above sea level where I am. Maybe 50. Quite close. And look at that rolling crazy boil. What was that, like three minutes? Bang, battery bank bounced straight back to 25. Bit hard to see. There's a diesel heater temporarily installed there too. There he is still. Still don't thing. 25 volts, guys. That's just beautiful. Alright, let's go outside and feel some terminals, see what things are doing. Alright then, guys, that little uh, test. 0.2 of a kilowatt hour, 200 watt hours um, out of the bank already. So uh, that was a good little test. Up to 25, 24.9 up on the inverter there. Bit of heat rising out of the inverter with convection. Um, what total kilowatt hours? So we'll leave that on that one. The sides of the inverter are warm, but the heat's very evenly distributed, which is nice. 25.3. Sorry, I got my Milwaukee head torch on, so every now and again you'll get that choppiness in the uh, video. Not warm at all. Not warm at all. All the cables are cold. Oh, that is the business. So, how are we going to improve on this system? We, I've got to go up to Solar Tasmania and get a battery disconnect switch. It's just going to go somewhere here, I want to put a board and that so I can screw stuff to it without affecting the backing board anymore. Um, we need a battery disconnect switch uh, with multiple fuses. We need cable lugs, some cable to make up some proper jumpers and things like that and we'll have to replace some of them. I need to mount the other three panels on the roof. I've got one 250 up there now, high voltage 250. What else do we need to do? We need to bring the MPPT charge controller in here. I can't really use that one, sadly. What I may do is bring just a single panel to that, maybe even, and run a 12 volt bank in here. The diesel heater runs a 12 volt battery. And um, I've got one more of these and a 100 amp hour like 120 amp hour really um, battery that you've seen me test already that I want to combine into this system somehow uh, I do have a BC DC 20 amp uh, red arc charge controller so we might actually be able to use that in some way shape or form off this bank but this is seven or eight kilowatt hours 24 volt storage and I also have the another 200 amp hour in uh, I'll go and grab one don't know if you guys remember these when I first got them that's what this um, 24 volt system was ran on these are power lights 100 amp hour 20 hour rate um, once again a high performance Valve regulated AGM. High performance. These are good and serious batteries. Uh, so I've got four more of these as well. So that's uh, 200 amp hour, 24 volts. And they're all tested above the nameplate 100 amp hour. That's how we know they're all in good nick. So we'll have more than 400 amp hour. 24 volts to play with. No, hang on. That's 400 amp hour. 
about 24 volts. Sorry, I've been, been saying that wrongly, 190 amp hours each. So that's 400 and then 2, 24 volt. So we're going to have 600 amp hour at 24 volts. That's if I don't bring in any, any other paired batteries. If I can get another one of these super safe 190s, I've got a yellow one. Uh, just a different rating. These are high temperature ones. These are made to be in server rooms that aren't air conditioned and things like that. Or switch rooms and backups, that kind of stuff. That's what the SPS 190 F is. They're made for high temperature, these red ones. I'm not sure what the yellow ones are in comparison, but I've got a yellow one. Now, he tested beautiful as well. So I can get him in here. We can go... Yeah, we can get 600 amp hour if I get one more of them. So I need to go to Lonnie and see if I can get one more of them. Uh, there's a guy down there that I buy some batteries off. That's where these ones came from. Um, sold four of these to a bloke um, locally who should have put them in a 24 volt power system. I'm not sure if he has or not. He was going to buy these ones until I ended up with them, but he uh, had a horrible motorbike crash. Poor bugger. And um, obviously couldn't work, couldn't buy them. Yeah, struggling. But um, I didn't mind because I ended up with them anyway. But um, yeah, hopefully one day he's all good again and I can get him some more batteries. But um, if I get 600 here, I'll have 800 in total. So I need to get one more of these super safe uh, batteries. I might be able to do that Friday. And uh, then we'll be set. We'll have uh, six of these 190 amp hours. And then four of these 100 amp hours. Yeah, so 200 and 600. 800 amp hours at 24 volts. going to need more solar panels, guys, aren't I? Good thing I'm swapping a bunch of 18650s for solar panels, isn't it? Yep. Um, bike's got 1,280 watt panels. I'm thinking about building a standalone roof, which will be like a garage, at a solar panels and a flat aluminium angle line as a project to show people that, you know, roofing iron costs this much, but you could make a solar roof for this much, and then you've got a roof that makes power. But anyway, we won't go too far down that track. This is part two of load testing this temporary setup, just so I've got, um, like even if I'm boiling the kettle, it means I'm not paying for it to come out of the grid. It's 32 cents a kilowatt when it's peak, it's 14 when it's off peak. I want to use as much off peak power as I can uh, to my advantage. And uh, with the effects of uh, lead acid, there is a special name for it, uh, it starts with C, but um, the, it's to do with the uh, efficiency factors of recovering the lead acid um, power. It's not really col columb columbic, something like that, um, efficiency. It's not really worth taking off-peak power, storing them in these, and then uh, using it when it's peak time. Lithium, yes. Lithium ion um, and lithium um, phosphate, yeah, definitely worth it. They've got a huge cycle life if you keep them up high in their life, or LTO even. But uh, not so much with lead acids. You're not going to get that many cycles out of it, so you don't want to kill them. But sorry, this has been a drawn out, like 20 minute video. Um, hopefully, it explains some bits. If you've got some questions, ask them below. If you want to see this get bigger, um, give me a bit of encouragement I'll go crazy we'll make quite a serious battery bank out of this thanks a for watching guys buy some stuff through the uh, links in the video description Teespring for some merch um, eBay if you've got something big you want to buy on eBay I'll send you a link to it uh, I'll send you a link to some inverters and bits and pieces anything you want and uh, if you link through banggood.com Thanks for watching, catch us in the next video.